Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this one, we'll look at the InnerTech all-in-one card reader with the Report Hub. This will basically allow you to add a multitude of devices onto your smartphone. In this case, we're gonna use my Note 3 to demonstrate this with. But around the outside, you can see a few different things we're gonna try. So we've got an SD card, full-size SD card. Then there's a couple more things out of shot as well over there, that was my hard drive. We're just gonna give you an example of what you can actually do with this. So they allow you to expand your device um, really generously actually you've got lots of different options so on the actual device here we've got um, SD cards TF or micro SD three USB 2.0 ports and then some other memory cards that we don't, don't generally use anymore but they're there if you want to use them it comes in this packaging as well so it's very kind of eco-friendly and it also cuts down the cost of the product itself it's only about 13 pounds on Amazon so very inexpensive to allow so much uh, more expandability to your device. I think that's well worth £12. And um, you do get an also included uh, cable if you need to power the hub to access more you know, volts from the wall. If you're gonna run things like uh, multiple hard drives and things like that, you do get a little adapter which you just plug into your kind of USB charger you get with your phone. Um, and then that will power the actual hub more than uh, what will come out of your Android device. Taking a better look at the actual device itself, here we've got a little power LED that also is red and blue depending on when you've got a device actually attached to it. On the top we've got our SD card slot and also the micro SD. Right hand side we've got the USB 2 and the additional slot for power where you'll plug in your wall USB charger if you need to to provide, to provide some additional power. Two USB 2s on the other side and then finally we've got our M2 and MS card slot there as well if you want to use those. That all goes to the micro USB, which will connect into our device, just in the bottom there, like so. That's detected that device already straight away as well. So now we will start to show you what you can plug into this. So let's get you into a bit of a better shot for this and we'll show you how to use it. Okay, so we've now got this all connected up. You can see it's got power that's coming from my Android battery. Um, but if you need to add more, don't forget you to use the cable. So here we've got a SD card that will simply go in the top and then you'll see the LED change as well to blue. Then we can go onto our device and it shows up here. So this, in this case this is some files that I've looked at before that I've done previous videos with. And then we can just simply either view or modify the files depending on how you want to go about it. You can also obviously transfer files around if you wish as well. But that's the, you know, the SD card. Take that out and let's try the micro SD or TF. Now I did find with this it's slightly tricky to get in sometimes. Um, it is rather tight, but obviously it's better to be tight than loose. So we'll, there you go, that's activated and that's detected there as well. And then there's actually nothing on this card so it's not gonna really um, you know, display anything on there. Um, but yeah, it's quite difficult to get in sometimes, but it's better than having it fall out when you're using it, so that's always a bonus. Okay guys, so now we're onto the external hard drive. This is basically set up normal way using the USB port. And down the bottom here we've got the total of 0 0.94 terabytes of space, basically 900 gig. Uh, that is free. I've used about uh, 20 gig or so on the hard drive. And... Um, there you go, that works just as normal. Some drives you may find you need additional power, which is where you'll plug in your additional power plug down here. But obviously this is working really well and uh, easily allows you to use your bigger devices on there uh, with relative ease. Um, so if you wanna get yourself one of these, I will put the link down in the description box below. But thank you for Inatech for sending this out for me to review. And we'll see you all in the next video.